So also with your phone being off, not truly being off, how does that lend its hand into just putting your phone on airplane mode, for example? So air, airplane mode is, a, I think, a great step in the right direction, yeah. but it's a soft switch based off software, and I'm preaching to the choir here, but um, you're not really doing a whole lot. Uh, so it's it's kind of like a Band-Aid on a bigger problem. Yeah. So to, to actually avoid being detected at all, you need to use a Faraday product. Or you're also trusting the operating system to actually honor that and turn off those radios when you can't actually confirm that that's the case as well. Yeah, 100%. And anything like, you know, the, they don't, Apple, for example, doesn't allow root access into that software to actually manipulate that from an app perspective. So you're putting a ton of trust in big corporation, and then you're putting a ton of trust that your phone is beautifully clean with no malware or no, or no uh, nefarious apps on it. Yeah. Like how many apps do you have on an average phone? Like hundreds. Hundreds. They all have different privacy policies. They all have different access. And it wasn't probably until recently that you were prompted with a push notification that said, do you want to allow access to your your mic or your We now have fine brain control. That's like recently. Yeah. So yeah, it's been exactly. going on forever. And if that's if that gives you comfort enough that a little pop-up notification is gonna be like, oh cool, I'm safe now. It's just not the case. Yeah.